stormy seas and lost souls. She's dreamt of this before. They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts and fears, as seen by our inner eye. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake, and we only see what our inner eye creates for us? Is this what hell is? A world shaped by Senua's nightmares? Maybe that's why people feared seeing the world through her eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must accept that yours might be too. You failed the gods. You're pathetic. Rotten. Cursed. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? How stupid can you be? Everyone hates her. She's cursed. Look at you. A warrior. Worthless. Weak. Pathetic. Go on. Feel sorry for yourself. Because there's no one left to do that for you. Everywhere you What's that? Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. Broken and lost. Just Do like it. your soul. Do it. Come on. There. <laughs> Give everything and face that which torments you. Only to find that it is worse than you could have imagined. Why go on? Is it really so weak to ask this? Or are we just so afraid of the honest answer that we do not dare pose the question? Sometimes the answer lies in a memory. A feeling. A song.
Before she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father's inbell made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs, errands out in the Orkney Plains. That was her world. Like this one. Barren and lonely. Northmen tell of a great hero. His name is Sigmund. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother-in-law, King Sigir, wants it, but Sigmund refuses him, so King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast. When they arrive, they're on. What's your name? Senua. I haven't seen you before. I'm not... I don't leave home much. Oh. 
Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. <laughs> no one? Well, I, I watched you and... You learnt all of that from watching me? <laughs> you should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dillian. I'm here for the warrior trials. Come and watch. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who is supposed to reassure you. Make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. Senua knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide, and don't tell her. Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Shut up! Get closer. Oh, 
king in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust, and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn, and it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword Tyrving. I don't recognize this place. Where are we? Where is she? It feels wrong. Where are we now? Burial mound. So strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary. Inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death. Because we have no answer for it. But when it comes and it forces itself onto our friends or loved ones, then comes the reckoning. for the trials, like when we first met, remember? I'll find him. <gasps> What's that? <gasps> Did you hear that? Nothing. What's that voice? Is that his voice or it, the voice of the dead? Not Dillian. <gasps> Dillian's calling to you. Can Where you hear him? Where is he? He sounds like he's getting further away. Senua, you remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrving. Herver disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors and soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. The flames I passed through were real enough. Damn the Northmen to hell. The voice is getting louder. Listen, Dillian. Listen, listen, listen. It's him. Listen. It's getting louder. There he is. You're nearly there. Dillian's voice. It's him. He's going to save you. Find the voice. Find him. Find another way. 
it's not working. You have to use your mind. Where can you go? You're failing. Find another think. way. Think. 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 Focus. Focus. Use your mind. Where people have disappeared. You Look. need to slip through your fingers once again. Think. Think clearly. You have to find, find another way. Don't doubt yourself. You'll never find it. She doesn't recognize it. Yes, you do. You know where you are. She doesn't. Listen for his voice. Listen. Dillian? Where Listen are you? Listen for his voice. Listen for I'm leaving. I've decided. I think it will be good for me. It's the darkness. It's speaking through. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy. The chief no. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said it could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. Come, child, take my hand. Come. Send one. No! I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! It's done. You did it, but there's more. There's more. There's still more. There's always more to do. It's not going to be easy. You're getting tired. Can you do another one? It's too much. Have you got the energy? She hasn't got the energy. No. Too much to do.
say that their all-father, Odin, gave his eye in exchange for a drink from Mimir's well, the well of wisdom. In blindness there can be wisdom. Only by giving can you receive in return. For this reason, I give my life and pass on my stories of the Northmen to you, Senua. Can you hear me? I'm right here. Can you see me? No. Help me. Breathe slow. It's the darkness. Stay still. Empty your thoughts. Tell me what you feel. A breeze. Good. Then there is a way out. I can't tell where it comes from. Yes, you can. The others. The voices. They've gone. I'm still here. It's so quiet. So dark. It's okay. Listen to your own breath. Feel it rise and fall. Good. Be aware of everything you hear and feel. Let your senses guide you. somewhere else now. But the breeze has gone. Use all of your senses. Let the world speak to you. What do you hear? I hear water. Go to Reach the water. Good. That's your way out. Follow it upstream. I'm so sorry. I thought I left this all behind. Don't be sorry. It's not your fault. He was right. It's inside of me. It won't let me go. Senor. My father. He taught me. The hardest battles are fought in the mind, not the soul. There are no coward. Prove that for me in the warrior tribe. This is just another battle. You can beat it. This isn't your battle. You don't have to help me. I want to. Besides, you are going to be a great warrior. I'll do my best. I know what you're thinking. He's not really here. 
seems there's no escaping the past in this place. And so she's forced to relive it. To what end? There is a house. Not following me. Leave it behind and keep moving forward. There's more of them. I think they're moving. You're breathing too fast. I'm scared. This is the sound of your breath. In and out. In and out. I think I'm in a house. It stinks. Of death. The darkness is testing you. But you are in control.
There's a well. Don't turn back. You're getting close. Spend hours, days even, trapped within herself in the dark. You see me? Yes. Your eyes were open, but you were gone. And when it finally let her go, she could be anywhere with no memory of how she got there. When it comes for me, I have no power over it. But here, for the first time, someone was there to help. But I heard your voice. You brought me back. You found your own way back. All you needed was a little help. A little hope. about a god of the Northmen called Baldur, the second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him, only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. It's another world. It's a bridge. It's not broken. 
It's fixed. What? The bridge is fixed. Let's cross it. You can feel it. You need the runes to fight Dillian. You need Dillian. He's waiting for you. He always said he He he's close. He cares about you. Feel he's close. He loves you. I'm calling you. Dillian. Dillian, we're here. Dillian. Dillian, we're nearly here. We're here. Locked. Try harder. She can't. The gate. She can't. <laughs> she can't. She will. She'll find a way. She always finds a way. Give up. There's a secret. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness. Swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. seems so simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the glow. And Senna explored new paths into the unknown. The gods feast and rejoice and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, Is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear. What does it feel like to be in 
the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force... Years had passed since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend, Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns. Shapes. Movement. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go. And she was caught between two worlds. And her past. And Dillian. A future. Two realities, tearing at her soul. Wasting your time. You have no time for this. Speed is sent you trials to distract you. They've set you up, and now they're going to watch you. What if these trials mean nothing? It's laughing at you. What if they take you now closer to you? You know what love feels like. Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur, weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. Except for a giantess they find in a cave. Baldur was never... you astray. You should have listened to your father when you had the chance. Why didn't you listen to him? Because 
love has tortured you and it tortures me. He's the reason she keeps fighting. is pointless. What are you doing? Why did you think you could make this work? You keep seeing runes, you see... The Northmen tell how the gods punished Loki for Baldur's death. They captured him and took him to a cave. They fetched his two sons and turned one into a wolf, and he ripped his brother apart. The gods used Loki's own son's entrails to tie him down, and turned these bonds to iron, and dangled a poisonous serpent over his face, so that its venom would drip onto him. Each time the venom drips onto Loki's face, he writhes in agony. The Northmen say that is the cause of earthquakes. A reminder, perhaps, that if even gods must accept death, then so must we. He cared in a way that nobody else did. who believed nothing he couldn't see. <laughs> and he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms. I had to see the world through his eyes. Slowly, the darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. Go to him. Go to him. That's it. Quicker. 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 You're going to fall, careful. No, she's not. Down. She's she not going to fall. She's strong. She's steady. She can do it. You can do it, Simran. No! 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 It's your fault. He's disappeared. You've lost him to the sea. He's gone. You've lost him to the water. He's gone to the water. He's drowned. Sinua. Your father cannot understand your darkness. I cannot see through your eyes. No one can. <laughs> My own father was born blind. Doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. <laughs> the word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? Would you give up the beautiful world thing? You, and only you, can see just to be rid of your nightmares. <laughs> or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? The gift that makes you so special in my eyes. Just another part of the person I love.
I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. Killing you would be too easy. They're taking your memories to torture you. They're taking you from the inside. You're and disappearing out. one memory at a time. Every time you remember, it disappears. They're going to take everything. They're not yours anymore. They're going to take everything you have. The memories of ghosts. Death for Sigmund and his brothers seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister. And she begs for mercy and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she-wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night, until only Sigmund is left. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well, that night, when the she-wolf appears again, you'll never guess what happens. I saw once a plague strike northern lands of ice. It was so terrible that not the oldest man among us could remember the like. Hundreds died. The sickness took nearly every person younger than forty and many older, and where dying mothers gave birth, the marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. Where are we? I don't like it. This place feels... What is this place? It feels wrong. It feels strange. Where is it? Where are we? Turn back. There he is. There Did he is. The light. Go towards it. He's in the house. He's Silent. going in. He's disappearing. Follow him. Don't let him disappear. The air. Where's it gone? Keep going. How do you find it? <laughs> it's just. <laughs> it's a test. Like the old warrior trial. Dillian will help me. The stench of rot. She can almost taste it. Do you smell it? No. Don't worry. Not everyone can. It was a warm spring day when she went to the river with Dillian and the others. For the water. She could taste the rot. But no one else could. She knew something was wrong, something sinister. She begged them to leave, but they just laughed at her. But soon enough, as the bodies piled up, no one was laughing. It's broken. And they knew that she was not like that. How are we going to fix it? You can't get to the house until the bridge is fixed. You must. You have to get to the house. You have to find Dillian. The Northmen speak of a death moon, a light shaped like a half moon that appears inside a house and goes around the walls. I once saw the death moon appear at a farm, and first the shepherd died, then a guest died, and then the farm hands, and then the farmer and six of his men drowned at sea. But that is not the end of it, because the dead return to haunt the living. If you see the death moon, then beware because there will be death in that house.
Now you have to find him. Quick, get to the house. Get to the house and finish this trial. It doesn't finish until you get to the house. Before he disappears, Senua. You have to get in. to me. Where are you? I'm here. I'm right here. Are Where you in there? Find him. Come out to find him. The rooms. Focus. I can't find you! 
Sean igual. Sean igual. What happened? They're blaming me for the plague. They say that I'm cursed. What if they're right? How would they know such a thing? Are they gods? None of us are. They're just... people. Good people, but... They're scared. They're afraid of what they can't see. Like children scared of the dark. They make up stories to fill the void. It doesn't make them true. What if my father was right? You have to step out of this darkness. Let them see who you really are like I have. You're not a monster. blessing to walk a goddess into the halls of Helheim and challenge Hela as an equal. So Dillian was helping me. And a sword will lead me to him. Like when we first met. As the she-wolf licks the sweet honey from Sigmund's face, he bites the wolf's tongue. The she-wolf pulls away, but Sigmund holds on. The chains break, and he is free. After his escape, Sigmund lives like us, hidden in the forest. His enemy, King Sigir, believing him dead, as his sister plots revenge. And for vengeance to succeed, even the great Sigmund needs help. So she sends her sons to him. But their blood is weak and corrupted, and they're put to death by Sigmund. So his sister hatches a new plan, one that is cold of heart and pure of blood. Dillian gave her the strength to pass the warrior trials. And she saw a way out. To leave her past behind. And become a warrior. In Dillian's clan. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Go back. The sword is tainted by the gods of darkness. Leave it. No. He left it here. He wants me to take it. You will pay a price for this. Years later, with Zinbel's parting words still haunting her, the darkness came back with a vengeance. A plague. Tell you? Everyone suffered. My father was not supposed to die like this. The suffering you've caused. This is your fault. <laughs> you brought this plague to us. <laughs> you have blood on your hands. They're coming for you now. They're coming. Focus! 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 Focus!
You can do this. You're stronger. You finished it. There's nowhere to run to. There's no the sea of corpses. The corpse waved through itself over the ones I loved. The ship broke up under them. The ship that had sailed from the land of shining fields. Their memorial stone is sacred. Come not here in the sun. Come not with a sword. Come not crying over a naked corpse. Come not with disturbed mind. Do you hear the suffering, Samuel? Does your precious gift of sight let you see the souls that rot here in this sea of corpses? Do you feel the blood running cold on your skin? Do you hear their endless cries? Do you smell their putrid wounds? They were once brothers, sisters, and loved ones. And look at what you have done to them. All because you were a coward, because you ran from your curse instead of facing it. When you turned your back on your father, Zimbel, you turned your back on the girls and let the darkness wreak havoc on your people. Why must they pay for your heresy? Use your sword. Focus. Focus now. 
stronger than you.
mother and daughter dead in the sea of corpses. up on her world to follow in the footsteps of her mother to go to a place where the darkness couldn't reach her Senua look at me do you hear that Calling for me. We've lost so many. And I've lost my father. I can't lose you. You said it. I have blood on my hands. I didn't say that. You've done nothing wrong. Simba was right. Everyone will suffer. Zimbal is a fake. He is a hateful, bitter liar. He's poison. And his words still haunt you. Who do you trust? Him? Or me? Do you still believe in me, Senua? In us? All she needed was a little help, a little hope. 